All right, all right, all right. Greetings, Guardians. I am the Real Dirty Dan, and welcome to the first episode of my new series called Focused Feedback Workshop, where we will be taking a look at Destiny 2. We'll be looking at the mechanics, currencies, economies, systems, everything like that. We're going to crack it open, see what works, what doesn't, and what we can do to fix what's wrong. Today's episode, we will be taking a look at everybody's favorite, well, my favorite weapon anyway, swords. Swords are in a very interesting spot right now. They have really high damage, and that's about it. Swords are severely lacking in utility, versatility, mobility, defense, variety, a lot of different things. In addition to some of the core fundamental mechanics that are just broken, like blocking, for instance. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of those different mechanics and seeing what's wrong with them and what we can fix. Oh crap. Hold up. Alright, we're good. Haha. <laughs> to start off, we're going to talk about ammo reserves. With my striker sure hand right now, if it'll load. It'll load. We get 36 ammo by default. That is the minimum. If you'll remember in Destiny 1, the absolute minimum ammo you could get was, I believe, around 50 or 60. In Destiny 2, stacking two sword reserve perks and a backup mag will get you 50 at the maximum. Our maximum is now what the minimum used to be in Destiny 1. That is one of the first things that needs to change as soon as possible. Sword mi minimum ammo needs to be increased to at least 60. Bar none. That is one of the first things that needs to be fixed. I feel like there's not a whole lot else for me to, to say on that front. Other, other than that, it needs to happen. And I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. Maybe the reason they felt the need to nerf sword ammo like that in the first place was due to the year one weapon system where we had two primaries and a heavy. Maybe they, they thought it would be too broken if we could just walk, walk around with a sword all day, but... That system is now gone, so we need to adjust that. Another thing we need to do is fix blocking. Blocking is a fantastic idea on paper, but in practice it is severely, severely lacking. And the reason for that is that the damage negated to ammo use ratio is way off. It is so off. If I block an attack from a boss, it shouldn't take half of my sword ammo and still drain half of my health. That needs to be fixed. I don't know what exactly needs to be done to fix swords in terms of blocking. I am not a developer. I do not have the numbers in front of me. I do not have a way to play test and look at different stats in front of me right now. But what we could do is we could either make it so all damage is negated but ammo is still consumed, or make it so some damage is negated but no ammo is consumed. I feel like if we made it so that all damage is negated and no ammo is consumed, that would be a bit broken and they'd be too good. Now I know what, but I know what you're, now I know what you're thinking. Why not just use a titan with the stronghold exotics if you want to block with the swords? It does basically what you're saying. My counter argument to that is why should I have to use a specific exotic piece on a specific class to make an entire weapon type viable? Imagine if uh, rocket launchers were only viable on hunters with a specific exotic helmet. Would that make sense? No. So that argument has absolutely no weight at all. The third thing that needs to be looked at is sword hit detection and registration. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have been killed by a major because my sword swings have gone through it and brought me to the other side of the major. And then the major has then turned around and punched me in the face and killed me when I should have killed it with my sword swings. That didn't feel like registering. I bet it'll happen right up here. Watch. Watch and learn. Here. See, look. 
I was holding in the direction towards the, the enemy, but my sword d decided to go in a completely different direction. Why does that happen? I don't know, but it needs to stop. There we go. All right. Not only that, but swords need to not drain ammo on missed hits. Because swords need to not drain ammo on missed hits. This would drastically increase their mobility options, as well as just make them overall less punishing. So those three things right there, fixing the ammo reserves, fixing blocking, as well as fixing hit detection and registration, that would be good, those would be good fixes, but there's still even more that we can do. I feel that's just barely scratching the surface. See, look, right there, I went right through. That is just barely scratching the surface of what we can do with swords. There are so many creative and unique things we can do with this weapon type that just aren't being done. And as an, an enthusiast of the weapon type, it makes me quite sad to see. To start off with these other things that we can do, let's talk about perks. Right now, sword perks only revolve around damage gain and ammo re regen with the exception of Assassin's Blade, which increases your movement speed on a kill. I propose that we separate sword perks into two columns. We combine all of the damage and ammo regen perks. What I mean by that is, let's say we combine Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade into one perk. Every consecutive strike you get bonus damage, and every third strike you get an ammo back. This would open up the second column for perks that increase defensive and utility options. For example, I have an idea for a perk called Vampiric Cull. It doesn't have to be named that, it's just the first thing that popped into my head. What this perk would do is on every sword kill you get a small chunk of health back. A small chunk, not your whole entire health bar instantly regen, because I have to admit that would be broken, as cool as it would be. I should probably have a sniper on for this. Fuck. So that way our swords would be multifaceted. They wouldn't just be built around damage and ammo regen. We could have some more variety and utility in our weapons. Because with swords, you are putting yourself in harm's way, and half the time your enemy will be either floating like a shrieker or too far away. So in order to counteract that risk you put yourself in, and the lack of range you can cover, they need to have more options than any other weapon to keep you alive. Like I said, damage is not an issue with swords, it's everything else that's an issue with them. And adding new perks that increase things like health, that grant overshields, that increase movement speed, and having those perks as well as our current damage and ammo perks would be a huge boon to making swords more viable and a mainstay in people's loadouts. Get these fucking guys. Watch this shit. Ready? Boom. Dead. Beautiful. Ha! <laughs> that never gets old. But anyway. What else? What else? Archetypes. Sword archetypes. In year two, we are limited to adaptive frame swords. This can get kind of boring. Quick Fang and Crown Splitter are such unique and fun weapons, and they're not being capitalized on. They're in the game, so I don't understand why we are not given year two versions of them that can have random rolls and have mods. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Not only do these archetypes of weapon need to be brought back, but they need to be enhanced. I know lightweight frame swords like Quick Fang already give a movement speed increase, but I believe that by default they should grant a much larger sprint speed increase. As well as aggressive frame swords like the Crown Splitter should grant an overshield when wielding it. Not a permanent one, obviously it'll go down as you take damage, but when you first bring it out, 
You'll be, they'll be granted an, an overshield as well as you'll have a cooldown on when it can next be brought out. Because if you could just flip it, you know, equip it and unequip un it rapidly, and you could have an infinite overshield, and that would be kind of busted. In combination with those new adjustments to the frames and the new perk, we could have some pretty fun and interesting sword builds. Imagine a Quick Fang with Assassin's Blade and Vampire Cult. Every kill, you're getting a sprint speed increase in addition to your already increased sprint speed, and you're getting health and damage. So you would just be an absolute ad slaying monster who's getting health, damage, and ammo back on every few kills. That would be so fun. And imagine something like Crown Splitter. You have a full team of dudes, all armed with Crown Splitter overshields, just run up to a boss and start whacking on it and deal like half its health bar. And get away scot-free. Whereas now if you try and do that, you will die. You'll, you'll, you'll just die. And do barely any damage. So we've discussed blocking, we've discussed perks, we've discussed archetypes. Now let's see swords in action, shall we? Did some decent damage there. Where's our friend at? There he is. There we go. Didn't quite get the block off. Gonna try and make my way uh, downtown. Now see, if I had a perk that granted me an overshield or something here, I'd be set. Or health regen, but no. I am lacking any defensive options whatsoever. And that is really hurting this weapon's viability. See, what was that? Did you see that lunge, that weird lunge? That brought me to nowhere? See if I can finish off this boss real quick. Or not. Literally any of those ideas I had would have helped drastically here. I could keep on swinging at the boss, get an overshield, I could get increased damage, increased ammo. I could have actually blocked those shots. You know? Could have done anything there. Go shell! Fuck you. I like a sword. <laughs> Topical. Very topical. Go shell. Fuck you. <laughs> oh boy. Still no curse breaker for me. But yes. That is about all I have to say about swords. For now, anyway. Thank you all for watching my Focus Feedback Workshop episode number one where we discuss swords. If you have any ideas for swords and what could be improved on them, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if any of my ideas are dumb, if I should elaborate on any of them. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, that would help me out a lot. Uh, subscribe for more, I will, I will be doing more of these. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about all I have to say. Let me just review my notes real quick. Oh, I did forget one thing. Stats. We need to talk about stats on swords. I believe that the swing speed stat should be changed. It should also affect your sprint speed bonus given while the sword is out. And it needs to affect your aerial mobility while you are jumping around with, with swords. So that way, the higher your agility stat, and combined with the fact that swords no longer take ammo on missed swings, swords would have become incredible mo mo mobility tools that would al allow you to get around the map in ways that no other weapon type could. You would become a freaking ninja hopping around all over the place. In addition, I believe the defense stat will, will should increase the overshield bonus given by your sword perks. So let's say if I have the perseverance perk that I made up that gives you an, o an overshield, every three strikes, that overshield will be stronger the higher your defense stat is. 
I also believe that things like swing speed, or agility in this case, agility, defense, even range, should be affected by masterwork perks. This would allow us to drastically increase the customization options on our swords. It gets kind of dull having the only impact option being impact. I mean, the only masterwork option being impact. Let's say I could build a sword that was completely based around ad killing and aerial mobility. I could have the masterwork be swing speed. I could have vampire cull. I could have some other perk that increases agility or something, you know. There's a lot we could do with swords. With more diverse perks, more diverse masterwork options, and fixing their fundamentally broken flaws, such as low ammo re reserves, horrible blocking, and hit detection. That's basically what I'm trying to say with all of this. So now I will bring this video to a close. Wish me luck on getting this go shell for my Curse Breaker title. And I will see you all on the next episode. Thank you for watching and coming by. See you later.